Guys out there on YouTube land, Matthew with Medicated Vision Tricks here, MVT, coming back at you one more time with another video, another hardware review today, and today we're looking at something a little bit special. It's something that's really hyped up. You go on social media, you go on the internet, everybody's talking about it, everybody wants it, everybody has it, everybody's talk, hyping it up, and for pretty good reason, and we'll get into that. So today, we're looking at the Smock TFV4. That's the Taste Furious V4, and it is furious, all right. So, anyway, first things first, let's get this out of the way. Let you get a little look at this bad boy. I think it's pretty freaking sexy. Pretty nice. You get the smock logo right there. Very nice. Laser etched in there. Um, let's get some specs out of the way. It is 24 and a half. It is not a 22 millimeter tank. It is a 24 and a half millimeter by 70 millimeter tank. And don't quote me, but I believe 95% sure that the 70 millimeter height is without the drip tip. So don't know what it is with. Anyway, um, it is made out of stainless steel and Pyrex glass. Uh, very good, solid construction. I'm not sure offhand where it's constructed. I'm guessing it is made in China. But um, yeah, it's a sh it's made by Chen Shenzhen, which makes a lot of really good products but um anyway they it is made in china it has a five milliliter juice capacity which is really really quite big as you can see i mean five milliliters of juice is large and it needs every bit of it and we'll get into that later let me get a quick tote Yeah, yeah, that is good stuff. That is satisfying vape. And as you can see, it has no problem throwing out the clouds. And I only have it set at, well, I'm not even going to tell you, but it's not that high. Uh, I'll let you know. It's just above three volts. So, anyway, let's dive into what comes in this pretty box, shall we? Obviously, the tank is sitting already sitting on top of my IPv4S. It comes in this very nice presentation of a ten of a box. Uh, slides off like so. Let's see what comes inside. All right, let's get this kind of so it doesn't look like shit's all over the place like it is. Okay, so this is kind of what you're gonna get. It comes with, as you see, a spare Pyrex glass, which is the first and foremost, the number one thing I want to say thank you, Smock, for doing that. I am a very drop-happy person, pretty clumsy, and that spare Pyrex is going to be used at some point, I promise. Uh, as you see down in here, you get a spare uh, little white gasket. I'll show you what that goes to in a minute. Uh, you get a black screwdriver, not a blue screwdriver like with RDAs, but a black one. I like that. It's different. And you get two... Where are they? Two coils right here, as long as, as well as the coil that comes installed in the tank itself. So you get a total of three coils with this kit, which is really quite nice. You know, uh, that's a lot of vape time. So let me get it into the coils really quick. Um, it comes with what they call the tri coil. Obviously, there's three coils in that. That is a 0.2 ohm coil. They recommend anywhere from 40 to 130 watts on that. It also comes with a quad coil that is four, separate, uh, four coils, and they're all vertical coils. And that they recommend, this is a 0.15 ohm coil, that is the, re the resistance, and they recommend anywhere from 40 to 140 watts on that one. And I have tried it all the way up to, well, I lied, I've tried it up to the extent of what my device can push, which is 120 watts, and it can handle every bit of it just fine. I completely believe their claim that 140 watts, it'll run it just fine, and, you know, I have no doubt about it. And it also comes with a single coil RBA deck, and it comes pre-installed with a single coil. Uh, I don't know the specs on the coil, but it comes out to a 0.85 resistance, and I never used it, but from all tell, the pre-installed coil is pretty good. So, those are the specs on the three coils that come in it. Uh, right now, I have the 0.15 ohm quad coil. As you can see, it looks like this. Uh, you only see three, but there is, it is screwed down. There's actually four of these little juice holes, juice channels, as you go around on each side. So there's a total of four sides, four holes, at 16 big-ass juice channels. And as you can see, it goes in, and then there's kind of like an inner chamber, and then that goes 
to the wick, and it, it wicks really, really well. So let me get another one. Absolutely awesome. And let me tell you guys, the flavor on this, I've never, ever had flavor out of a tank like this. I mean, I can't, I have, I've had the Atlantis, uh, or the Aspire Atlantis V2, V1, the Aspire Triton, the, I, I've tried all of these different sub tanks, I've tried the Arctic, I've, none of them, in my opinion, in my hum, very humble opinion, can touch the flavor that you get off this Smok TFV4, and it's just because these freaking coil heads are massive, I mean, I don't have anything else to compare them to right now, but let me show you what the other coil looks like. So I will tell you, this quad vertical coil, when you look at it, it is four vertical coils stacked one on top of another. So it is one long cylinder coming down wrapped with organic cotton, and it works fantastically. I'll show you the tri-coil, and it's a little different. If you look in there, you see three separate coils, each one separated uh First packed with organic cotton, Japanese organic cotton. They're all they're still vertical coils, and then they are all separated off by these you know little walls. So um, I don't know exactly how it affects the flavor, but it is a little different experience from one coil to the next. I will say that they are both awesome coils. It took a little while to get them broken in, and one thing I really do please rec I really recommend when you first get these. Don't expect them to be able to handle 140 watts right out of the box. Um, you're going to fuck your coils up really bad, and you're going to have a bad taste in your mouth after that, and you're going to ruin a really expensive coil, because the replacements for these fuckers are like 30 bucks a piece, and that's like the, the least amount of money you can spend to get replacement heads. Um, but if you use them right, they'll last you a long, long time. I started mine at like 40 or 50 watts and worked my way up slowly from there, now I can run it at 120 watts all day, and it's a piece of cake. But my sweet spot is right around 75 to 80 watts for the quad coil, and that may be a little low to some. I sometimes I can kick it up as close somewhere as close to 100, but I like around 80 watts. So uh, let's get into some more of these features. The airflow. The airflow is awesome on this thing. You see these gigantic cyclopic holes. Uh, I think I just made up words. Cyclopic. <laughs> Cycloptic holes, cyclonic, whatever it is. There's four of them. I don't know the dia or the millimeter diameter specs or anything on them. I will just say they're fucking huge and they provide plenty sufficient airflow. Um, I'm a like he's like I said. I have a I'm a huge RDA guy. My favorite RDA right now is the Mutation XV4. So if you are familiar with that, you know it is like all airflow. It is super super open air. And for a tank, this thing can provide a lot of airflow. Not only that, with these huge holes right here, which provide plenty of airflow, these are the only holes I leave open. But if you want a little bit more, if you look at this here, let me take this off. If you look at this drip tip, it also has four little cyclops holes all the way around. Sorry, my drip tip's a little dirty. And you can open those like that. You know. You can open them, you can open them halfway, whatever, you know. But the thing about it is you see that double wall design? That cold air comes in to this, through the first wall, but it never mixes with the actual hot vapor coming up through the very center from the chimney. So you have, instead of it mixing in the drip tip, and then coming into your mouth, like, let's say, with the Atlantis or the Triton, their drip tip airflow, you have two separate channels of air coming into your mouth, one cool and one hot. And it's a lot different, but I really, really like it. It's really cool. Um, I just don't use it that much because I really, I think it mutes the flavor, which is one of the few cons I have with this device, is that that drip tip airflow really, really mutes the flavor, in my opinion, a lot. And every time I throw this out, like I, I'm not used to looking at myself in the in the video that a whole lot. It's been a while since I put a video out. I'm just like, God damn, this thing chucks out vapor just taking a couple second drag. So anyway, next feature is the fucking top fill system is off the chain. Watch this. Boop. That's how easy it is. I don't have to take it off the mod. I don't have to do anything. Boop. Cl fill it. Close it. You see that? Watch this. 
So, got my juice. Let me get this open and ready. Okay, let's see how fast. Let's let's pretend this is empty. Let's see how fast I could get this filled up. Okay, I got my juice. Put it right in there. Bloop, bloop, doop. Bloop, bloop. And done. And it's closed, and that took about, what, five, ten seconds? That's awesome. I love it, I love it, I love it. The top fill is off the chain. Now, one, uh, one of the things I forgot to mention, one of the accessories that they do include with this is two of these vape bands. Now, I always thought vape bands were really stupid accessories. I never understood why people had them. But um, one of the cons, I will talk about this, is over time, this top fill has the hinge right here where it snaps. It doesn't even really snap closed. It just kind of presses closed. You can see just barely that little thing right here where it shuts. Yeah, it's gotten loose over time. So uh, I've had this thing for about three weeks now, and over those three weeks, it's gotten loose. And uh, it, if I have it in my pocket or anything, I mean, it, it's really easy to just... I mean, you can see how, how easy that just comes off. So I've had a lot, uh, well not a lot, but a couple experiences in my pocket where it leaks. So I use this vape band, I put it on, and I'm not sure, God damn it, I'm not sure if this is what they intended, but I use the vape band to hold it closed, and it works wonders, and it's never opened on me again, so that's cool. It doesn't bother me anymore. So anyway, this review's running a little long. Let me finish it up. Pros. Great flavor. The best flavor you're going to get out of a tank. It still can't compete with some RDAs. It's actually a little bit better on flavor than a lot of uh, these like, cloud-chasing focused RDAs, uh, in my opinion. I, I've easily gotten better flavor with this than some of the RDAs on the market that I've tried. But for the most part, if I want flavor, I still go to my RDAs. This is really my work setup or on-the-go setup. Uh, another pro, great clouds. It's, it's not going to win you any competitions, but just to show off to friends or, or you know, whatever, it's your little uh, vape meter, going to the vape shop, you want to throw out some fucking fat-ass clouds without doing any work at all, uh, this is for you lazy vapers. Um, another pro, it comes with a shitload of stuff in the kit. It comes with a spare Pyrex glass. It comes with three coils. It comes with an RBA section. It comes with screwdriver. It actually comes with organic Japanese cotton. I forgot to mention that. Um, another pro, all the pre-built factory coils are awesome. Some of these tanks are great because of just the RBA deck or something like that. No, all of these pre-built factory coils are off the fucking chain. Like I said, as long as you break them in right. Um, that's, so the, the, those are the main pros. The cons, it's a fucking gas guzzler. It's the, it's the, you know, supercharged Hemi of tanks. You need a lot of juice. It puts a lot of juice through this thing. But you know what? That's a fine trade-off for me. Uh, you need a high wattage device to run this thing. If you got an E-Leaf 50 watt eye stick, don't go out and buy this fucking tank because you're not going to enjoy it. Um, you know, you need something with at least, I would say, 75 to 100 watts. I wouldn't even get it with a 70 watt device because that's where it starts to get really good. So, um, anyway, uh, there's a small little, another con, there's a small little bit of leaking from the top fill. If you get juice on top of this white gasket right there and then you shut it, it will push out the sides along this seam and then run down your tank. So, you know, I, there's a lot of wiping and wiping if you're not careful, which is not a huge, huge deal. Some people might find it annoying. And the last con I'll mention is the fact that I've already mentioned the top fill can get loose after a while, can swing open, especially if it's in your pocket or something, and you don't have this vape band on, which I highly recommend you do. But aside from that, look at that fucking performance. That is off the chain, and I just felt like I was drinking a Slurpee of this delicious liquid, which actually I'm vaping on uh, Illuminati by Conspiracy Liquid, which is a Fruit Loops cereal vape, and it's really, really good. So, anyway, the price for this, I paid about $45 for the full kit. They sell just the tank with a coil, 
I believe, and then they sell the full kit, which is everything that I just showed you, the RBA, the single RBA section. They also have a dual RBA section out now, which you can buy separately, which I have right here. Um, you know, it's pretty, pretty badass. It's really easy to build on, really easy to wick. It works fantastic. Uh, I might do a review just on the on the uh, dual rebuildable separate section, but anyway, so 45 bucks for this kit, 50 max. Um, you get so much shit. It's so worth it, dude. I I can't sing enough praises for this tank. So anyway, um, sorry for the low video quality on this. I had to use YouTube's uh, video software stuff, and my webcam's not great, but. I just wanted to sing the praises of this tank. I wanted to give it a full review. I've had it for almost a month, and it's just impressed the shit out of me every single day. I've had no issues whatsoever with it. So, anyway, Smock, you hit it out of the park with this one. Um, I did purchase this. They didn't send it to me for review or anything. I purchased this on my own, and I just felt like it deserved a really good review. So, not that there aren't plenty out there, but fuck it. One more didn't hurt. So, let me give you one more to go out on. Remember, vaping saves lives, it saved mine, so uh, keep on chucking them clouds, y'all. Anyway, Matthew with MVT, I appreciate y'all watching. Please support my channel. Uh, everybody in this vape community, peace out.